And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Ticket to Ride Train Switcher. Ticket to Ride is one of the biggest intellectual properties that Asmodee owns, and it makes sense now that they're going to make a puzzle game based on this. This is part of a series of puzzle games called LogiQuest, uh, which also includes a Catan one. Ticket to Ride here is essentially about a little train switch yard as you try to get the trains in the right spots. That is actually a real life thing, which is interesting, and as someone who is planning to one day be more involved in the model railroading scene. I really like that. I love the idea of getting trains from one station to the next, moving them around, even on a computer. I like playing Railroad Tycoon, trying to figure out how the trains move. I find that sort of thing fascinating. So I was pretty excited. Of all the ones here, this is the one I was most interested in. Let's check it out. In this game, you're going to have this little yard here. You're going to take a puzzle card and place it here. So as I guess the magic number for all these games is 40 because there are 40 puzzles in here ranging from difficult to the easiest one. So I need to start like this with my engine up here and my train here and I need to get them here. And you want to do it as few moves as possible. You need to do it in three moves but you can do it in five and you just simply get stars. So when you move, you like this would be a move if I wanted to but I can't really do much, I can't pull, I can push a train, but I need to pull it to their spot. So then I might go around like this and back in for my second move. And then once you the a car is behind your train, you can pull it with you. So my third move would be, do, do, do. Let's go straight here, do, 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 do. And I'm done. Now that's the easiest one. It's possible to have multiple engines. You can even have a broken track section, which means you can't use that piece of track. Now, once you've done it, you can check to see if you've done it right. And on the back are the way that the, the trains move. And you're going to need to use this card with you. So this will say this engine moves from the red H to the blue C. And then it turns around using blue C to go to blue B. And then it pulls with that connect coupled to it from blue B to blue I. That's a little bit takes some getting used to, but that's how you figure out if you've done it correctly. Like I said, I showed you an easy one. Here's an example of a harder one. We have a broken track, a yellow, blue, and green. I have two engines, one behind a red card, and I need one train with a green and a red one there, one with a blue and yellow there, and I need to do it in six moves, eight at the most. Um, so this is one of those ones where I can kind of flip the solution at you and it doesn't mean anything because you're going to have a harder time. You have to compare it with this card to figure out what's going on. But that's how you play. In this particular puzzle, I have some problems with the pieces and that's mostly because there are many times, and here's a good example, you see this red train is struggling to get through here. Ah. Ah, it's just a pain. It's it's at the top here, and maybe if I kept, you know, moving them back and forth, I could wear down the plastic. But I found that to be a problem. That's also a problem in this tray in the bottom. This keeps all the trains in here, and you have to really pull to get that tray out, and then really push to get it back in. And there's also a little tracker here in the middle, where you can keep track of how many turns you take, how many actions you take, um, and. It's fine. This would look probably better if it was painted. The fact that it's not painted doesn't really bring it to life. It's kind of a neat board. Um, these cards are fine. I found the solutions to be a bit of a pain. And one of the weird things, and maybe it's just me again, but here I have the puzzle and I'm like, what's the solution? Oh, it's like this. Okay, well, I guess I'll hold the solution here and I'll put this card here and I'll move the trains around. I don't know, I found this to be a little pain in the neck. And that's kind of what the, the components of this one feel like, a pain in the neck. They slide in and off the board pretty easily, but moving them around and stuff, it doesn't move easily. And that, like I said, detracts a bit from the game. This one is fine. The, the, the thing is, is the puzzles are not particularly interesting. There's a lot of companies that make puzzles like ThinkFun and stuff. And the most famous one that ThinkFun makes is Rush, out, uh, Rush Hour, where you're moving cars around to get them out. This has a little bit of that same feeling. It's like, move the train here, move it back here, move it over here, connect here, do this. Okay, I, again, I like that concept. But I'm telling you, 
Every time I did it, I was annoyed at pushing the trains and then them getting jammed and you have to go around the long way, which is the way it should be. It says no 90 degree. I like the rules say you can't make a 90 degree turn. Well, guess what? You can't make a 90 degree turn, like physically. So I don't know why they bother to tell you you can't do that. Um, but as you're moving them around, the trains got stuck every puzzle. Every puzzle as I'm pushing the trains, it just wasn't smooth. And so I don't want to have to sit there and be like carefully moving these trains to solve a puzzle. That's not why I'm playing the game. Again, comparing it to the very popular rush hour. Rush hour, you slide, 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 slide. Very easy. Here I'm sliding, sliding, sliding. Ugh, what a pain. Now that doesn't mean that the game itself is bad. It's fine. It has, it moves around. The train idea works, but I think the components kind of hamper this one. So of these four Logi Quest ones, it's the one I like the least. It's the one I would get last. Um, the Ticket to Ride connection is tenuous. It, I mean, it's trains. They could have called it anything, but Asmodee owns Ticket to Ride, so obviously this makes sense. And if you like Ticket to Ride uh, or not like Ticket to Ride, this isn't going to really change your opinion of, of this game or not. And again, I don't think the puzzles itself are bad. They're okay, but it's that production that kind of brings it down a little bit. So there you go. Ticket to Ride trains, Track Switcher. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, a decent puzzle, but the components could be better.